VM 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 Ça va? How you doing, folks? Welcome to VM Podcast here. I'm Marty. And this is Marty. I've waited Martin. a long time for this. <laughs> How are you getting on? How are you doing, folks? Welcome to our new podcast. Hello, you. We're excited to be here. Uh, Are we been, fucking nervous here? This has been in the making for a long time. Um, finally, we're. I was up making it, and then they stole it. Uh, finally, we're up and running. Uh, it'll probably last for two weeks and then fold. So you better watch this first episode. Yes. Um, so basically, what we're going to do, folks, is chat about uh, general stuff, local stuff. What's making news? We have some newspapers to t- take out some stories on um, the phone. We have some uh, just basically chatting about shite, um, local shite, uh, sports shite, local sports shite, um, but a crack. A lot of shite. There'll be a lot of shite. Um, there'll be a lot of scabs in Marty's head because there's only after getting a chance. Oh, yeah. Um, it looks well. Thank you, Vincent. You have a friend in you, like a surfboard. <laughs> 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 Definitely. So, what we're first chat about is. Suppose everybody's chatting with Jeffrey Dammer. I got pork chops in the fridge. Yeah. Um. When we were making this, we were trying to think. Uh, we were chatting ourselves, thinking, "What? What do we talk about? Like, what do you talk about?" So we're going to talk about what everyone else is talking about. And Jeffrey we thought ourselves, and we thought Jeffrey Dammer. Like everybody's chatting about that clean nutcase. So we're going to chat about him. Um. What a fuck. Did you actually ass. watch the whole thing? Watch the whole thing. Absolute um, nutcase. That guy is all different kinds of wrong. Like, mm-hmm. um, warped. Jeez, he's clean warped. But uh, we're chatting. I was chatting last night. Boy, right? And uh, what all I done? You know, spoiler alerts here. By the way, if anyone's watching, but it's not really spoiler spoiler alerts because everyone's talking about it. Knows what he's done mm-hmm. and what he's doing. So if you haven't watched it, and you don't want to like uh, know anything. Mute it now. But he ate people and all, and he cut people up. The weirdest part of the whole thing, right? Was. <laughs> Lying on the bed with a mannequin. Aye. But what I thought about mostly was if they cut your man's finger off, was that the finger your man fingered him with? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Was he eating the man his own shape? Like? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like? The man fucked up too. It could have been though. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what the mannequin first? was... Would you not smell first? Like, but when I started to hug a mannequin, I thought... That, that this was joke. fucking... No, when I started to hug a mannequin... But he's the dopest. He's the dopest fucking... Serial killer ever seen in my life, like you know what I mean? Like pork chops in the fridge, 19 jokes, like <laughs> lying in a fucking acid, fucking pocket. Like, oh, like, like, when I seen the man, and I thought this boy's touched, like, and he's killed with four people rubbing away at it, like, but there was just the heart, he, he wanted the heartbeat, he wanted the heartbeat close to him, like, do you know what I mean? Just got a wee follow there on the VM podcast and Instagram, folks. <laughs> if, follow, uh, follow our podcast, it's a new Instagram, so if you could follow, but that. Uh, I worked. Well, stupid, like, he should have been caught a couple of times. There's actually a new interview out this Friday about him. Is there? Live, com- or like, like, he got interviewed by some woman in jail, and it's out this Friday. But he was so open about it, like, but... But he says at the end, right? At the end of it, he says, I knew what I was doing. He knew it was wrong, like. Mm. And then, the part then where, no, though, he, a 14-year-old boy. <laughs> For a while after, like that's bad. Sorry, sorry, f- sorry, uh, sorry there, Mary. Apologies, but the guards guided him back up into your man's room after he'd already raped him. And uh, fit- that racist, like, uh, they were fucking racist. Like that was terrible. Like they guided him back up into the room. Like, but pe- after he took a shot, a lot of stupid people back then. Like, but I wouldn't say like I would counteract it. Like I would cut a bit of skin off my finger. No, and like, I'm so good. Is there something? Not, <laughs> are you some, is there something? Do you like finger rot or? <laughs> no, but I'm saying like I'll just go in the room and act fucking really weird with him, and he would. He That's what I mean. Now, what way? What way would he? he just like? you go in, you take your top off, and start this wild bit of dancing. And... Hey Jeffrey, hey Jeffrey, I want to, <laughs> I want to eat your heart. <laughs> Jeffrey, do you like Cheerios? Because <laughs> goodbye, bye. Like the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but that's what I mean. Just go on and open his fridge um, <laughs> and the head, <laughs> the head lying there, and just pull out the milk and pour a fucking Weetabix or a heap of sugar <laughs> and eat it in front of him. I, you know but listen, I mean? hey, 
the serious bit about it, right? Mm. The police gated that 14 year old boy back up into yeah, his room. That's like after sick. Jeffrey's probably took a dump in your man's chest or something. And he said, Oh, come back in, the pictures on you. <laughs> the and there's a dead joke. The there's a dead joke lying on the bed. Cop, aye, lying on the room. Go ahead with your gay stuff. And then Jeffrey's here. Right? Jeffrey's standing with the side of the guards against her. Oh, Stacey, I'm going to die. This is me. I'm, I'm, ca- I'm caught now. Gone into my room. I hoovered it there with an hour ago, but it smells like a fucking Boston spot. <laughs> <laughs> so like, but maybe we should play no the neighbour always fucking she rang she haven't seen her 18 times rang the guard that's crazy like but that's as you say that's like racist kind of shit there like that's back in the but she kept going on mine he was going on about the poor chaps so why don't get the poor chaps why, 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 don't, why, don't you, why don't you be the neighbour and knock on my door and I'll be Jeffrey Dammer and try and make up an excuse my way right uh, well the smell or what yeah right uh Hi Jeffrey, um, I'm just wondering what what the bad smell is coming out of your apartment. Um, I had chicken pups for four years, and uh, they're still there, and they're starting to <laughs> starting to smell. So I scratched them like an advent calendar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> I thought I smelled something I, I had before. And my goldfish is herpes. <laughs> His name is Sack. But I, I, uh, <laughs> see, all joking aside, though, like, that's crazy the way they don't even, like, uh, many times that woman rang the garage, like, the, the, there was a big, big racist in that country years ago, fucking hell, sir, Jesus, <laughs> laid the wee boy back in the room, like, but I see people on about, oh, it's gruesome and all, it's tight wax and all, it's f- fucking addictive, like, you can't stop watching, like, 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 he's cutting jocks up. That is fucking sick. Huh? I'm picking heads to, heads to work with them. No, nah, but the, did you see the one where uh, they went in? Also, just spoiler alert, we're like, we're ruining this for anyone who hasn't watched it. Well, fuck them. But I'd uh, say half a time last it on it. But listen, they cut the jokes head off you and put it in the fridge mm. and come out the next day and took it out of the fridge and kissed the head like that. Mm. And if you are aroused by that show, uh, contact Mark contact privately. The, <laughs> contact the guards. <laughs> is that a bit sick like? Contact Marty privately, he likes that shit. <laughs> Dot <laughs> <laughs> Instagram evenings. Uh, I warped. He's clean warped, like. But all joking aside, your man played him was brilliant, sir. He was, I, uh, think uh, he, yeah, I think he should get a, an Oscar. Oscar uh, De La Hoya for it. But uh, warped. Are you watching anything else on Netflix? No, I'm, I'm watching House of Dragons, but you wouldn't be really on the House of Dragons. What's that, Saki? I love you, Miss Holmes. Why do you not watch House of Dragons? I watched it last night, I and that all day. Do what he call her? But it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was joking. weird last night. Like, it was weird. Found me old watch it. Like he buried his wife, and then shagged his niece and married her. That is fucking. That's the difference what you're watching, Jim. No, that's what they did. How's the prostitutes you're watching? <laughs> How's the Jeffries? <laughs> no, no, it was sick. Like, he just buried his wife, and then he was shagging his niece on the beach, like. I have watched it. And then married her. That's fucking. Is it good though? It is a good show now. It is good. But you have to be on that kind of shit. What about Black Black Murder? You ever watch that? Black Murder? No. It's warped too. But it's like a series. It's like a series where every episode is different. Like it's completely different. Doesn't relate to anything at all. We were watching one last night, and it was after forty minutes. We're like, why are we still watching this? What else am I watching? C. Jason Mal was on it. Never watched that. Let's go, boy. <laughs> what are my other going? What are my Aquaman? He said, Aquaman. 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 What film did I watch recently? I'm going to look for some crazy stories in this new film. What film did I watch recently? <laughs> oh, what was it? Sir? I can't get thinking now. I can't think at all. Um, no sex problems there? Uh-huh. Sex problems there? I have a... Oh, on the newspaper, I thought you were going to be a grown hair in my helmet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, Holland. Who? Oh, will you stop with that? Ridiculous Maximus. What he a fucking, is, uh, man. fucking 
basically I my still nightmares. Think, I think still think. As you all know, I'm a United fan, and Martin's a Liverpool fan here. I still uh, think uh, Liverpool will go up near the top. It's a big shout, like. Like, only a deluded Liverpool fan would say that. I love them, but they are playing bad at the moment now. But, but now, Haaland, as I said, hey, before even the. Also, they're fuck on that newspaper. As I said before, right? Before Haaland signed, when there was a link with Sally Asses, if they sign that Haaland joke for any other club, forget about it for five years at least. I thought they wouldn't have done it. We'll never pull that. He's like Messi, Ronaldo, no, and no. the fat Ronaldo all the way in together, and mm. he came out. No. I'm yeah. sorry, I mean, you bought the nuts. Alright, remain in too. But I had hands on the back of this paper, I had the big but, um, sexy company. No, when we played in the community season, you know, we used to have to mean anything. But it doesn't mean anything. Like, that's like a fucking pre season friendly. We were that's like a, we were fucking the hell. He was in Van Dyke's pocket now. <laughs> Van Dyke, no room left in the pocket. Everybody's up. No. Oh, what? Everybody can pass them, mate. Sorry, I'm Shut up, shall I? I should take your time in the newspaper there. Hi, all joking oh. aside. Now, folks, there's absolutely nothing in this newspaper that I can read out. Anything in that other one? Um. Aye, but, pal, forget about it, champ, for the next two years, eh? Yeah. I think. De Bruyne is the man. Nah. As uh, Pep Guardiola says, Messi makes his own uh, things happen. Hal has the team around him to make it happen. So Brian Owen, he's a fucking striker who's wet dream for fuck's sake. But you're, they were saying that about that joke Liverpool side. They were like, oh, he's just like Hound, big, strong, number nine, forward boy. What do you call him? Hmm? What do you call that boy Liverpool saying? Who? <laughs> 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 Peter Crouch. <laughs> that joke is in the van, really late. Who are you, Nunes? Nunes, eh? Nunes needs to get a chance with Cops. Been known for doing that, but players isn't fucking just letting them rot the bench for a while and then they have to push hard to get on the team. Would you like Ray Dora's toenails? Ray Dora? I would have had like a cabbage turn up. Ray Dora is unbelievable, Jeff. And tell me this, what's the crack with Che Given here they're getting sued now? Just see that in the paper there. there. A bit of ring there. <laughs> ring pipe. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting sued now, his wife's suing over something. But uh, get that list up quick, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was an excellent list. Um, yeah, so basically what, what me and Martin's doing is uh Just to let everyone know too that uh, I am at Lag and Harp's senior football manager and Marty and his hair transplant <laughs> plays with me. Well, I haven't played yet. It's coming. It's coming, don't I? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh yeah, let everyone know Marty can't get a transplant or can't get a can't play because Just tra- do you want to chat about the transplant? Uh, if you want to I'm talk to you, it's your it's your scabs. Like, it's your scabs. Yeah. But as I said to Marty before us, I was like, if we're going to chat about it, chat about it in a way, like, if for some joke sitting out there looking for information about it. Mm, takes away with me. You can private, also people are looking, you can private Marty, sh- private, sh- private chat Marty right. uh, as well. You Definitely do, don't be afraid to get it done, go and get it done. Fuck but it. tell me this, was it sore? No, it wasn't one bit sore. At times it was when they were pulling... Pulling at the root of the hair, but you just tell the translator and the translator would come in and you okay, sir. I'm looking for four lights here. Right now. Turkey. No, he would he would tell them more anesthetic. Oh hey. Yeah. I thought he would have fucking the, the the tightest part. You going, ah! <laughs> it's the tightest part when they put the four injections. Do you know what or what? Ah, into your forehead. And um, you wake up and there's a ninety year old man sucking your toe. <laughs> And then you fall back asleep. Was that nice though? Yeah, you fall back, tend to fall back asleep. Nah, that was, um, it's um, it's not sore at all by them four injections or eight injections. You get four in the back of the head for when they do their craft area and then four in the forehead when they do the the top of the head. But sometimes you do feel them poke them, you just tell them, they give you more anesthetic. It looks well out of the fair, all joking aside, like it does look like. But I took, I took cramps in the middle of the table there like, for a shade. Cramps are really like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I had to get up my operation. Did he? Uh, what did he say? What did you oh, say? Oh, the young, girl, the young girl had to come off me. What did you say? Follow me to the toilet. Shut up. You okay, sir? Her knock on the door. What, do you just lie in you go to your van here after you drop Obama off the White House? <laughs> How do you get away with that? Yeah, it's trying to push out five scrambled eggs and a fucking bag of marmalade. They just let you up and <laughs> under the toilet? She just stands outside the door because you've got much anesthetic in you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
You think you're Christopher Walken? And then, uh, what's the crack now? You're what? The crack now is... Like uh, the way I see it there now, it's your hair is growing. This is the best part, uh, they reckon. Well, the best part until it goes back again. So it falls out now in the next two weeks. So the time I get back to work, I'll be bald again. <laughs> I'm just thinking, did you go for a transplant? And tell me this. Tell me no more now. How much was it? All in, like, is it all, all is in? It a pack- it was, um, is it a package deal, like, or no, two thousand two hundred for um, two thousand two hundred for the fl- not the flights for the operation itself, and the hotel, five star hotel, and then thirty euro extra for a plus one. So the friend come with me. That's all right, isn't it? For fucking big shout out to Andrew Shaw there, five chins in him, but four chin fame number one. Uh, hey, that's all right. Right. Yeah, that's all right, doesn't it? It is, and then three fifty. And I thought the I thought um, Turkish Airlines was very good. And do you have to go back in there, running or? No, my hair has to go back just as with it. And tell me, can you explain this photo? Hmm. Can you explain <laughs> this photo? That's uh, when I woke up with an nappy in my head. Dog abused me forehead. <laughs> <laughs> with yeah. a. Are you going through? Are you actually going through my Facebook? Or? I was going through here just to see what that photo. I just trying to get a lock up before and after photos. But uh, so you, I heard someone else. One of the other boys got a hair transplant done as well. And he was telling me about it, but he was saying you can't sweat or something. That's crack here. What? Can't sweat or masturbate or anything. Like crack can, for a couple of days. Can you not? No. I shouldn't. I'm, You're fucked then. Hmm? You're fucked then. Uh, but you can squeeze one out. <laughs> <laughs> someone tell me you run around Turkey with no trousers on. No, uh, I wasn't drunk at all. I was drunk now. I warned anybody else getting it done. Do not drink the day after. Because it was a tighter run home, my life. Was it? And we forgot the book seats behind, beside one. Wait, they it. told you you can't drink after you went the next day and get lost? Yeah. That was uh, a mistake on my behalf. You probably start going on or nipple or something. Mm, that's the one, but no, it was a tight flight home. Four and a half hour, op- four and a half hour operation. Four and a half hour flight. And then three hours in the car. We met every fucking diversion, crash, duck crossing, <laughs> bus crossing, toothpaste crossing, shrimp crossing. Caterpillar disco. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you tell me, I want to be trying to be serious but with people. Like, I'm trying to win this mic too, by the way. Like, uh, I don't know why you're trying to go with, mm. but uh, I'm trying to like be serious for people actually are looking for information. But tell me this, if you go and sell, if you plug like fucking... Turkey hairline jocks did they give you mention? No, they did mention it to me. It says if anybody coming out to um to put my name down. And then he was saying my back draft bank, so, bank draft I. So if I wanted to get one done, I'd be like, oh, I mm. recommend it by Martin Brogan. Mm. They'd probably send me fucking five five hundred free bags of minis or something. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're money men out there, like they would definitely they would say you'd send it to you, but she would she need your sluster to go over them. But listen, they must be making some mix. They are. So you made a jump over there? there there was about 13 people on there. Did you meet a jump over there as well? Mm. The exact same? Uh, There was two or three. We met two other boys. Stayed in the hotel. The hotel must be linked with them. So we all went out in the morning to get our operation and get lined up and all. And what about lying on your back for all that time? Oh, fucking horrible. That's probably the worst bit of it, I think. That is, uh, lying on your back with your neck up straight like that there. No way. Mm. Like we have a fucking thing behind your neck or something to keep straight. Trying to fucking dream. That's tight, I would say. So if you got a piss horn, then you kind of turn to the side. Huh? If you got a piss horn <laughs> in the morning, you'd just sit there like a fucking tent. Like a tent? Like a tent, eh? Put a tent. What's wrong with you? Oh! <laughs> nothing. <laughs> my, stomach's, my stomach's full. I found a pencil. I found a pencil. Hey! I'll ask, and can you lie on your side now? No, I'm a side now. Like the the first night I oh, couldn't sleep then because I was lying on my side. Shut up. Swear to God. Woke up lying on your back. My body, I am dyslexic. Like My body <laughs> just didn't, uh, didn't come around itself a bit, you know. Your hair doesn't look like dyslexic, all right? Mm-hmm. No, I just look at your friends. <laughs> but tell me, I'll sell to you. Mm. Or give it to Lendy for Friday night. Tell me us now. So, what's the process now? Does your hair fall out and then properly oh, out, I think, and then it grows back like a new grass. And then you'll be like, I'm fully in after that. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll start singing. And do you wash it now, or what, to crack air? Uh, we can he, um, you just tap on the shampoo for the first 10 days and rinse it out with a, a bucket, but <coughs> not a bucket, but a, like, something. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean. Something there. to get out of it. You know the thing with scrambled eggs? You make scrambled eggs. Well, uh, fucking jug. 
A jog, a good a jog. man. A jog. Good man. A jog, I washed out with a jog and no pressure on it, you see. But listen. Yeah, I'm listening. Tell me this. See the way a lot of people are going out at 30 and get their teeth and mm. beard. People yeah. are actually getting their fucking beard done. Oh, you know what? boy with me, he got his beard done. Did he? I'm this boy, but he told me the Rolex then, so I was like, you know, do you have money? Is that the same mm-hmm. job, like? Weird. Yeah, because I was going to give back graphs to get back back home. <laughs> And uh, I hear a lot of people out there getting everything done out there, like they're tasting on. Taste done, nipples, so, nipples removed. So if you and if but the hair, if you get your teeth done and then you get something wrong with, mm. no one here look at you. What's mm. the crack with hair? Like do you just that grows back and then you go get your hair cut as normal? Or what's get a haircut? Uh, well, after a year, probably you're out scissor cuts after three months, but I'll probably stay away from it for as long as I can. And the uh, upsetting part for me in this whole situation of how getting hair done is he can't play football for two months. No, nah, well, I'm back. I'm back next month, hopefully. Well, can he hit her back. ball for a month and a half? Bro, you couldn't hit her ball. I just know what. I'm Bro, fucking best in the air. You look like Peter Schmeichel's uncle. Uh... I uh, saw so it's a crack game. Anything else you want to add there? Or sh- no, to be don't. honest, the bro- how long ago was it? What is it, man? It's done, two like? weeks just. Is it? Uh-huh. It looks well, to be fair. All joking aside, like, mm. it does look like fucking some. Yeah, it's like a miracle, if you ask me. Get you over now to get your face done. What are you about? See, you look like my auntie's foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt bag, I'm just a teenage dirt bag, baby. I'm just an iron maiden, baby. <sighs> um, so this is warming us, we tear. Get that fucking T Rex. Hello, how you doing there? Uh, your niece rang, she wants her hoodie back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking tight, right? She can't like train either. What do you mean, train? She can't go and train. <laughs> Jesus, this is a warming house. What do you mean, we're in a studio? I used to do. It's, uh, Stoke on Trent. Um, where's that list? <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is. Uh, how long are we in here? Probably about nearly half an hour. What is your favorite takeaway, Manny? My favorite takeaway is at the minute. Never mind a masturbated sandwich. A masturbated sandwich is up there. At the minute. Like an actual place, or like just like food. What do you like getting? What would you would you be? Um, I love burgers. Hey, burgers. Uh, I love the burger at a uh, burger at a uh, burrito. Burrito is absolutely. But listen, wet. listen. See the burger at a burger Jackson Mulford. Oh, here we go. Fifty euro for a yeah. burger and chip. No, it's not even that beer, Shem. You're just a tight her. That's wrong. No, no, no. You're Jesus. a tight Shem. You want to do it quick? We we fucking bottles a uh, coke. Size of the button. Not listen. I would give it another chance, definitely. I think it's fucking unreal. Mm. That's uh, like it's not long open either, is it? Mm? It's, long, it's not long open. No, you know them. You're probably sponsored. I don't know them. Some stage of your life. I don't know them. But they're mm. getting a plug here, aren't you? So email getting B&M, a plug. Uh, uh, podcast. Uh, yeah. Send us all the even send the burger up. And we'll eat them <laughs> in front of the camera. Happily too, but no a burger out of there. Um, do you, you ever get the burger out of snug, bro? No, never in that place. The smash burger, double never smash burger. It. Never in that. But uh, as your normal Chinese and all, like, hmm? love, who doesn't love a Chinese? Like, Chinese, I'm getting fed up. Jesus, I'm dear. Fucking hell. You Shangri-La. are tight. Shangri-La. You're For me tight, and her, yeah. 47 euro. That's because you ordered 95 chicken curries with extra beans. That's what you ordered, like. What the fuck? Ah, uh, she'd have feed that fucking hair transplant. Two fucking youngs in a bag of onion rings. But nah, Chinese, ah. Uh, the shangri la there was a story of the shangri la Well, geez, we're, maybe we're not allowed to speak about that. Gone ahead, the man put runners in, in the fridge because it worked, worked off his feet. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's true story. Yep. They oh, caught yep. the fucking, oh, God, shoes in his fridge, yeah. Ah, when yeah. my delivery days, I remember delivering down the Port Road, the Chinese, hey, and them, they were cutting fucking carrots on the windowsill. And the flies had name badges on them. <laughs> Oh, tight, sir. That I don't know what the curry was made of there. I know they probably oh, fucking fuck whisked the curry with a shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ascot, ascot specials. But hey, uh, no, I love a burger, hey. Um, and as I say, it's normally you're fucking dirty Chinese. You're in a Sunday Dirty morning, Chinese, yeah. Hey, no, I'm partial to burger of late now. I used to be like Chinese, man. I'm a, a hangover, but I don't, I don't drink no more. So if you were to go, uh, you lost last week after you got your hair trimmed. Did you ever drink funny? Never. Never drink. Never in my life. You yet. look like you're drunk. Not yet, don't I? Not yet, yeah. I'm after. I could go for a few. Mm. 
What's your favourite Chinese? If you had to go now on Friday night, that says Marty. Right, they where we See, if changed now. I used to be a big Tan Tai man, but I do like it now. But I just see. I can I can I kind of stick to the one thing. I have to mix it up, like. Mix it up, like I always have to get something fucking different, and that's pure poison. I'm second. Well, the one day I went right, and I got a big four out of the four nights, and across the road, and I got a portion of chicken goujons or something made of hillbillies. And then, where else do we go in? I think we got the curry at the time and mixed it all together. Dirty, fast. It was like a raccoon's wet dream. Up the fun and then for fucking <laughs> an ashtray. <laughs> the tan ashtray. Smell a fucking smoke up there. Do you remember the fucking fun land? That was some spot. Fun land, boys. That was unreal. Fun land's still there, too. I don't know if it is now. The building all still there. Uh, out the back, eh? Is it the actual building now there? Out the back. Aye. Uh, um, but tell me us. What a spot. You still smell it. What? <laughs> the Sega Mega fucking game. You can still smell it. Ashtrays out of the fucking pool table. Well, the pool table, the... champ. There was a, a line, a queue for the pool table. <laughs> Worse than double dole like, champ. <laughs> Wasn't there? Uh, 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 you're down at one o'clock for uh, the pool. You'd be standing there the following Tuesday waiting. It was meant to just knock Ella fucking drive, you. <laughs> uh, but hey, far what a spot, though. Huh? That's where you went. That's like. I know where the dolphin in for salt and vinegar. And oh, I just threw in a few chips for salt and vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> the down, down, down to the back of the court, you then for a finger. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate finger I mean do you know what we're going to need in this episode smelly fingers because that's ah, geez, I didn't yeah. know how much I had about fingers when yeah, they cut a lot of them fingers out Jeffrey Dammer. <laughs> oh my fridge smells of pork chops and onion rings and now a word from our sponsor hiya folks uh, this is a part where we do an advert um, we're just looking for some local businesses to if you want to sponsor an episode um That'd be great. We'd muchly appreciate it. Um, we're going to try and get a, a different business in every week to sponsor the show. Um, you can contact us on... Um, Hi. DM us. BNM Podcast. Email us. <laughs> uh, welcome back, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed that little ad. Anyone... Uh, let your arm, let's say smell. <laughs> <laughs> they are stinking. To be they're honest. wiser looking out, chap. They are. Oh, they are stinking. Uh, but they're they kind of like stinking, they're kind of like nice. Stinking. It's that bad. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like a sweet smell. <laughs> but any <laughs> sweet fuck all. Any business out there, folks, would like to sponsor a wee episode of ours? Uh, even like a wee coffee or a wee. As you can see, we're eating these these nuts. Can do by contact us on Instagram or Facebook. Yep. V&M podcast as you can see our lovely sign up here with the li- porno lights under I think it looks really like a prostitution ring with them lights on mm. not that well, I'm going to be looking for sponsorship for Fanny's Teeth too <laughs> they're like the train tracks in fucking Azerbaijan <laughs> hmm what the fuck was that eh huh? that's, my teeth. Very... that's my teeth sign leave me gums that's my vibrator alarm <laughs> I have a fucking butt plug on there. That's Aye. a turkey one ringing you back, champ. You, your hair. <laughs> you forgot your butt plug in the hotel. The smell of dogs fucking. <laughs> oh, you're dirty, huh? But, uh, uh, if you want a sponsor, just give us a sponsor, folks. No, peanuts are about 19 euro a packet. <laughs> no, well, the price tanks nowadays, don't you? Fuck. Jesus, man. mad, isn't that? Joe's through the roof, sir. Skylight. <laughs> Uh, and as dear like mm. nah but right enough all joking aside like at the end of the day it was nice jeez <laughs> that's 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 true that's true but right enough like you need a mortgage out now though. get a fucking Chinese that is for sure like I don't know what Chinese split a Chinese we're back to Chinese here but I'm saying everything's fucking through the roof like the worst thing I think is fuel costs mm. like diesel it's dang clear yeah, it's right. double like I keeps coming up and down same as stairs mm. <laughs> anyway the <laughs> <laughs> ah, they keep coming up and down mm. I think diesel prices are dang clear diesel pet was not too uh, we're saying everybody's saying it's not too bad when it comes down below 1.6 or 1.6 or whatever it fucking comes down to but it's, it used to be 104 105 and... we right we have a coal man right and uh we get cold covered, obviously, but they never came there last week, so I went and got a bag of cold in the shop. 
Who took it on V&I? I think it like, wasn't you. Hey, Shamrock Darren from here. Like Michael Schumacher. Uh, but anyway, I went and got a bag of coal. It was the first time I went to the shop to get a bag of coal in ages. Um, and the last time I went and got one, oh, just a small 20 kg bag of coal because I could carry it 40 kg. It's <laughs> bigger than you, sir. But anyway, it was 9.99, all joking aside, right? Mm. 17 euro yesterday. 17 euro? That is. So the 40 kg is nearly 39. 50 like that's but you'll yeah. never go on them bag ranges like because it's far too big for you oh, but all joking aside like there's no you joking aside you're fucking tiny like sham you're built like a bullet vibrator with steak the Vinny oh, the like, Vinny vibrator at least I have my own hair at least I have my own hair not some turkey jokes <laughs> <laughs> you took it out of my uncle's air hole <laughs> it'll be standy for a while but uh <laughs> pubes in your living room when you're eating um, Right enough though, the like price of things nowadays is mental wash. So everything's yeah. for everything. Especially for you and you're a tight bastard. Sorry. Like you wouldn't spend Christmas. I'm you're talking about how much a Chinese is there. You wouldn't 47 spend. euro for two people, like think about it. What? 47 euro for two people. So think about it, minus one pool used to be in the port road. That would have got you on there. That's good delivery times. cost. That's good as delivery cost, you. What? Probably four euro for the thing and then 95 six, euro Six euro <laughs> delivery. You like that delivery. We shout out to Glencar Deliveries there. Glencar Deliveries actually is fucking handy. Lethal. Like no plugger on but how handy is it? It is. Like it's I a drive. Great, great, great business. Great business. I drive, right? But it's that handy I would just get it delivered. You have it handy too. What? Because delivery is, over the pandemic, it took off, everything over the pandemic has got lazy. Like, there's people from here to, say, the shop is your, your neighbour across there that's phoned for fucking stuff. Like, you know but no, mean? it's not even lazy but people. But it benefits us. See, people don't drive. How handy is it for them, like, when it's, they can deliver anything? Especially when when you're having a wee glass of wine, you get all foot three and dirty. Ooh, will I drive the car? They get a lock of drink, and then your uncle goes, no. Also, never, ever <laughs> drink and drive, folks. No, uh, oh, he goes, no. And they say, just ring, ring, card lovers. You're getting some fucking spoken here, Scuba. Lad. I never, ever drink and drive, folks, because you'll end up like Marty's head. Well, I didn't drink and drive before. I wrecked the car and burnt off. Burnt off I got away with it. It was only, for, only one time I did it. Ah, cut that, cut that out. <laughs> we'll cut that out, right. I um, took the agar and was driving their wheel with my hair on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. No, but going back to all the price of things here. At this rate, we'll be all as tight as you someday, like. Mm, you are Not tight. even coming into Christmas, like. Like, families. It is. Tight, it's, like. it's going to be fucking tight this year. We've what about been... Halloween? What are you dressing up as? Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need a lot of more Static hair. movement. You need a lot more hair, that's you. Static movement. You haven't stopped movement since you got on that night. <laughs> static, impro- static improvement. <laughs> Not right enough. What about how they reckon? Don't you? Uh, don't. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Did you fart? <laughs> Did you just fart? Yeah. <laughs> Clap that. Clap that. <laughs> oh, some peanuts, man. <laughs> but they're. Oh, damn. <laughs> it smells like Jeffrey Dahmer's <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> It's really Jeffrey Hammer to miss. Hard on favor. <laughs> oh, fuck me. But I, they reckon don't dress up. <laughs> <laughs> they reckon don't dress up as a. <laughs> hey, because it's, it's showing people. They, you know, it's, <laughs> he's taking recognition for it. Well, he's not taking recognition. Now. He's, he's dead the ground. Hey, five, five bars in the head, sir. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What did he buy kill him? I think he was a charging board because he got five bars to hit. <laughs> he just said he's not taking recognition for it. And I'm stuffing the ground. Stuffing the ground now. <laughs> somebody put somebody else cock on him here. Jeffrey Dammer's toothpaste. Jeffrey Dammer's toothpaste. I had a dream last night. I never <laughs> fart again on this podcast. <laughs> I had a dream last night. My arse was in orange and you fucking sucked it. <laughs> We're going back, so I'm reversing back again. Right. This is one my father told me. The times were that hard years ago at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that you used to wish you woke up and Christmas, your brother had a hard on Christmas morning because you had something to play with. 
I'll never forget that. God rest me father. Oh my uh, god. That was a fucking priceless one there now, in all fairness. Uh, first and foremost, cut that out. No, do not cut it out. Uh, <laughs> that's giving Jeffrey Dammer fucking recognition again. <laughs> cut it out. Oh my god. Eh? Um, but anyway, back to Halloween now. What are you dressing up as, Vinny? An Oompa Loompa? A vampire. <laughs> You would be good as an Oompa Loompa, wouldn't no. it? I'll dress up as Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. You could dress up as the big fat chocolate mm. Charlie Chocolate Factory that got stuck in the pipe shed. What do you call it? Come him? in, come into my chocolate what do you call factory. It? <laughs> what do you call it? Chocolate? Pork chop flavour. Oh, chocolate. Hmm? What's the German fat chocolate he saw chocolate in Charlie Chocolate Factory? What's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. Clash for Sutter. Clash for Sutter. He went to his wedding call. Left back. <laughs> no, I actually enjoy Halloween. Type him, man. Google him here, I asked him. Wait, what do you want to know his name for? Because that's who you look like. Fuck off. You wee umpa limpy. Uh, fat guy and Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Cut the part of the way and scry and outside. Um, do you know who I'm on about though? Mm. What's his name then? Umpa Loompa. <laughs> umpa Loompa. But funny searching, like you search through the paper. Yeah, that's okay, sure. Like I'm already trying to pass. Augusta. Is that a name? Augusta. I'm not Augusta. Uh, she'll be on that. You come as a golf bag, sir. Augusta <laughs> golf. Um. Anyway, no, they all jokes said I like Halloween. Uh, uh, same as that. We're actually having a party. Is? Yeah, but you've said it's about over four foot to get on. Oh, well, I'm not good. <laughs> uh, we are. My, woman, my woman's actually big into Halloween parties now. We used to have ones all the time. Is she the, and the only one with hair? Yeah. And the, my hair, right? Um, uh, no, right now. And grown hair. Where is she having the gaff out there? Up in the gaff, eh? Halloween's good. Uh, she's decorations up here. Freak the fucking shit, did he? Mm. See, my sister decorations, she's not even laying. It's like walking under a horror scene and film. Uh, like, she's, um, like, she's, she's mad on the two. Halloween's a good time of the year. Do you remember when you used to, you used uh, to go down a years ago with black bags? Remember and go around and you would get money for having black bags over your head. Now you have to be dressed up as a fucking slizzler. Cock ring. <laughs> Cock ring. Hey. <coughs> you go and collect for bonfires and stuff like hmm? used to be. Man used to go collect tires and offer bonfires. I know why. Or if you're scared, then go. Go down to Oldtown. Get used to follow. Get uh, the kick shit, no, shit out of me. Barry Owens, God rest him, remember Barry? I used to walk down to the National Shannon Shannon, but I wouldn't walk down unless Amy Carroll was beside. Oh, no, jeez. That was the side you didn't even want to go to. What? I'll never forget the day Amy Carroll walked up the back road, Sham, and he had 15 tires with him. 15 tires? On his arms, on his legs, Sham. He looked like the McClum man. <laughs> well, he was an animal, hey. But listen... Clap that, that's up. But when you some play for bonfires and all that, rob people's tires and stuff. That just be the best time of your life. Remember now that? you kind of get kids out of the fucking house and they're stuck in their fucking playstations and all that. I'd say this will probably the last day, but there'll be nothing else to chat about. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right though. So say this fuck like. Mm. All joking aside. Remember you used to get battery to But us, you used to, I used to, see at Christmas, I used to have. Every bit of clothes I was bought at Christmas, I used to have them on the one day. Uh, out in the bike, get it dirty, back in. Knickers. Out in the bike, mate. No, they're fucking iPad mad. Be yours, no man, I was fucked. Be your exes? But, BMX. Remember, you used to just get a brand new BMX for Christmas, which is the best day ever. No, it took me a while to get a BMX. I remember God bless my uncle coming on one Christmas with it, and then. Thing she got rest a lot, doesn't it? Everybody will be there, Seems to me. <laughs> there is that. Thanks for bringing it up again. <laughs> but he had a fucking thing wrapped and I opened it. What was it? A chain? For a bike? Aye, and he says, I'll get you the wheel next year. <laughs> <laughs> I, be, oh, I swear to God. Right now. Aye, yeah. Did you ever get the bike? Got fuck all, man. He's dead now, too. Dead now, too. Bastard, eh? Bastard. I'll get you a bike. Oh, sorry. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. shouldn't fuck but listen, all joking aside, hey, uh, Halloween. All joking aside, many all joking aside do you have left? Well, she keeps chatting about your smelly fingers round up your fucking toenails. Can, I, I, can I have a joke of the day, please? Will do a joke of the day? Oh, well, I'll do it. You can do it next time. I can't have it. I'll need to write mine down, no? There was this wee boy in Australia, right? <clears throat> he wanted to um, send a request to his mother back home in Ireland. He hadn't seen her in years or put on a request and he went done the he went down to the radio station and I says to the boy I says I'm looking for a request here and the boy says no bother there you're on you boy 
he's still only half 50 cent. And you buy within the country, so it's not company policy, a euro for this thing. And your wee boy goes, I mean, I'll do anything for you. I swear to God, I'll do anything for this request. I need it all, and I haven't been chatting with my mother in a long time. Your boy says, will you do anything? He says, I come with me then. Oh, here we go. Took him on the wee dark room. Locked the door behind him and stepped out and pulled out the cock and he goes, work away there now. We bought some as fuck like. And I was like, <sighs> Hello, Mum. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Joke of the day. <laughs> that was a good one. I actually didn't know where I was going. I was like, It's only going one way with me. Uh, I don't know why, but I was like, well, We're going to be in jail after this joke. It wasn't even that bad. No, that's the joke of the day, folks. Sponsor the joke of the day. Do you remember? I'm going to have to do one uh, the next day, but I'm going to have to do Google it. Google it, eh? You need a password to get on the Google, eh? Um, <laughs> um, so. No, oh, but all joking aside. Any <laughs> <laughs> safety help. You're going to Halloween, you're not. You're going to Halloween. <laughs> No, I'm going to keep a low profile because my hair will probably fall out. No. Uh, what else you doing Halloween? Eat apples in the water. <laughs> You'll be able to eat another one. Knock knock. Or not knock knock. Uh, <laughs> trick or treat. <laughs> when were you to go trick or treating? Uh, mine was telling me. People used to actually give you money, mine, not Money. Mine. Loaded. You know, you get a pack of fucking Harry Bullock. Like. I remember going to with a boy up the house. I'm not saying no names. But we're sitting there, Halloween is coming, the geese is getting fat, please put a penny and whatever. Yeah, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But the jock was still knocking us, but he's looking at the jock beside me. Next thing he pulled the mask off me. He's, hey, you robbed my milk, you bastard. Fuck. <laughs> I swear to God, they're up metal bank. Something like Shawnee Houston would do. Shawnee the ref. <laughs> <laughs> was it him now? Shawnee the ref. Uh, Actually, they're fucking they're going on now to local sport here. Nah. There's not much, uh, not many refs, is there? It's good fucking money puller, isn't it? If I wasn't in the managing job, I'd 100% definitely do a course, am I? I couldn't do it. I've always argued through my whole career with fucking referees and I just wouldn't have the thing to But do. you see a lot of boys there now, younger boys getting under it, like. And definitely their money. So what is it? What does it you get for a game now? Depending on what games you're playing, like. Oh my god, they smell like a fucking uh, tinker's <laughs> testicles. <laughs> How you got to chat about one subject, that boy here? I don't know why. But Jesus Christ, the air's thinking. Are you sweating? No, it's you smell. You're fucking probably safe. You're, you're sweating. Smell like a is your shower sure water? You smell like a pedophile in the brand, is it? She has tight hole there. Um, no, but all, all joking aside. If I wasn't doing my lagging job, I'd definitely do referee. Because yeah, it's money, eh? I couldn't do it. Right, you're not doing it. No. If anyone do anybody in Ireland can't get a job, he has them all. <laughs> I have I have three wins, sure. Aye, I'm three, 33 jobs. Three lovely wins. We'll fucking need it all. We're not trying to be in place in there a minute ago. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. Um, I've just got one paid nine grand a hair transplant. They don't even need it. It's a funny nine euro package. <laughs> 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 um, right. No, as you're saying, that referees, how you be handy, it's fucking. Definitely. I think you should try it. No, I couldn't. I'll try to finish my career in the next couple of years and see how I get on. If I can get back in, it's the longest comeback ever. My, I can't wait on it because I signed Marty. It's like firing the load after a. I just waited to stag you the weekend. I signed Marty <laughs> there. I signed Marty six years ago and he still hasn't been again. <laughs> if it's not his legs, it's his fucking earrings. But, um, no. Definitely, I yeah. and what do you think of the Dulcet in your league? Would you be arsed playing three teams? Three, three teams, nah. I'll three teams, four. three teams. Has to be four <laughs> next year. What do you think? Uh, has to. Is it all going to go under one? So you, you surely you'd be sick of playing the same team over and over and over. Like, mm. You know, how many times have they played each other in? Three teams each, isn't it? And then not including cup games? Well, probably 12 cups, is there? Eh? Yeah. Probably the Voodoo Cup, the Armour Cup, Convoy Cup, Middlesbrough Cup, T Cup, Double D uh, Cup. The fold, it has to be fold. No way in the fold, do you think? But there's not. Local sports pining at the minute, though. Like, she likes a footballer. 
like there's probably like how many teams are in the league like there's many leagues are there four five leagues with like 12 teams in each league like mm. that's a lot of fucking it's people football I love football you know it's flying like it is there but they, they need to push it all under the one and have the the Premier League on a Sunday as part of a but you you love football or do you love playing it or like or do you love just watching <laughs> sc- 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 scummy Liverpool or uh, like if you were to sit down there and Brazil under eight teams were playing uh, Mac so. Arena FC would you play, watch it or would you no I do love football eh? it's getting time Thompson getting oh, time that's right there because you have 33 jobs it's nice to joke but would you go and watch much local football with yeah. you or would you funny fundraisers <laughs> I'm actually not doing any fundraisers man hello my name's Vinny I'm looking for money for my sand deal I'm looking for money for my podcast yeah hard to be for hair um I no what were we chatting about again so I drifted away there alright because you're probably chatting about fingers again that's all you ever chat about fingers like Thanks for tuning there. Also, what? folks, just to let everyone know that, that we're going to get we're going to get guests on this. Guests on music Wait, guests. Anyone, hmm. like even anyone at all, get you on for a bit of crack. This hmm. is literally a bit of crack. Like we're just sitting down here chatting about pure dumb. And get your voice open. Claudia in a jersey. Cut that. Out. Claudia in a jersey. Four cats, four cats, my brother. Bloody in a jersey from a city limit. Nice yourself. Four cats, my scrape to get out of the water. Oh, my fucking hair jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've lost four gra- grams. <laughs> four graphs. Hey? Mm. No, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to get a couple of people on and try and just chat away, sh- chat about shit. Mm. Just chat about pure dumb, hey? Have a bit of crack, drink a lot of tea and coffee. Like. Uh, well, you only get one cup of tea here. If anybody wants to come on, and we'll pay them to make us a cup of tea. God forgive you. God forgive why. And you need to fucking put an extra arm on to get a lot of them peanuts, and I. Any plans tonight, or what? Hmm? Have you any plans tonight? Left the kids now, lads. Left the kids. Watch the Liverpool game. Oh, that's right. Liverpool Rangers. Liverpool Rangers, eh? Liverpool Rangers, eh? Mm. Be a good game. I'm on there. Is it home? Or, is Anfield? Anfield is it? No, I'm on there. No, I'm at home anyway. I'm not for all them players in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool will beat the boy. Hmm. The what? Liverpool will beat them. I think they will now. I think they need to start the new man. Who? New man. The nearest joke. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like a caterpillar. Yeah. Better than fucking Willie Collin. He said I'm on the field for years. Who? Willie Collin. McTominay. Oh, it looks man. like a boy. Like sauce. It looks yeah. like a boy. Fucking sells fidget spinners and Santa Bonda <laughs> at half three in the morning when you're out of your head. What are rep chucks? Hey, <laughs> come on here. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a four and a half bottles of peach snap. <laughs> you vomiting for three summers. We were a stag here, right in Portugal, and uh, one of the boys as well is a clean up kid. Like <laughs> he's like clean wiped. He's like, he, he wouldn't say booty when he's. Sober, see, and he gets a few lushes on him. Yeah, I knew if look, a few people got her out. A clean warp, right? But he's the funniest hair in a stag. Like, he's just clean dopey, too. I won't mention his name or nothing, but it rhymes with Sean McGlinchey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, McFlinchey. <laughs> <laughs> we were all on, heading down the strip one night, right? There was about, there was about 15 of us, um, and there was an Irish bar at the top of the strip. So, about six of us went on there, and the rest went on down. But he went on down with the boys, and there was these, this reptile standing outside the pub, trying to get everybody in, you know. And uh, he got he uh, he went up there and says, you "No, know, if I get if I get more than six people in here, will you give me a kiss?" And she's like, "Oh, I I know more." <laughs> so he's down trying for ages, but one other boy rang and he says, "Hey, walk you down now, and never let on you snow, never let on you snow, Sean. <laughs> get up to get your son so we can get a kiss." I was like, "Right." So he walked on down, and then we spot him down, walked on down. He kind of goes, oh, guys, come on in here, we'll get you free shots. We're like, no, we're going on down to the bottom pub here. No, come on in here, we'll get you snuzzled. No, we're going on down to this pub. He's like, Billy, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. He thought I didn't know him. <laughs> I was like, you're a fucking half I was like, you're a clean half You just read it. But anyway, we're went on the pub and... You know, I was like, oh, or he was like, God, can I have me kiss now? Can I have me kiss now? And she kissed him because she had to go for his face. <laughs> she had to go for his face. Black bag. <laughs> but hey, I was fucking brilliant, hey. What's your star sign, Vincent? Aries. Same as myself. Is it? 
Yeah. We're going to grow old together then. <coughs> it's not true that people stop pursuing dreams. This is our dream of ours. We're going to be rich and famous. Where everyone sponsors Because them, they grow up. You haven't grown up. I'm not waiting for you. still ahead as my nephew. <laughs> and he's three months. They grow old because they stop pursuing dreams. It is the same with art of play. Fuck You're definitely dyslexic, Sam. Give me a little You can't even say the fucking word. <laughs> dyslexic. You're going to have sex problems. Um, tell me this. Any stags? <laughs> You've been on fun. No stags. I've one added there to a group, but we don't know where we're going yet. But it's been a while since I was on one. I'm due one. Do you know the worst thing about stags? 59 people be added to the group and 16 of them going on the actual stag. Uh, see what I just do is then I put up the dirtiest video. Oh, sure, that's you in every group. It's not a bit of fun about any group from Marty, but, but if it's when I work, when I but work. you know the worst thing you do about that there, right? You put up a dirty video of this cat licking his eyelid. <laughs> and then it saves to your camera roll and it's all over and then it's all over your phone then you go and look and then some cat's licking his eye on your nephew standing behind you like something's wrong that joke but sir I was at it the one and uh, Duffy's was working at Duffy's Express but there was a whole load of there was about 52 people and I didn't know what was going on <laughs> so I just put up a dirty video next thing all these women started to leave <laughs> it was one of the boxes that drove in the lorry's daughter added all of us to customers and everything. Huh? Ah, swear to God, and your boy takes me then privately and he was like, uh, Hey, sure, what the fuck are you putting up that video for? I says, How long am I, sir? You don't add to me, and I fucking shake like I do. My daughter added you. Well, what's your daughter? Well, your daughter, what's she adding me for? You know what I mean? Was it his daughter in the video? <laughs> oh, I thought it was his daughter in the video. No, no. Oh, wait. No. That would have been far from her. You should have lied and just said no, that. No, why is she adding me, like? I don't know her. But I didn't get a video one time when I was working in the body centre, hey. And it was that fucking bad. I sent it to the worst group I was on. Because it was that bad. That's how bad the video was. Your family group or something? No, I sent it to a group that would be... No, they would take them videos, take them on the uh, channel. Like. So I deleted the video straight away. Hey, I was that bad a form thinking the guards were going to come down and look at my phone. <laughs> By the way, folks, these videos are <laughs> woeful. Like, you wouldn't even wax them or that. And, uh, so I scram, I was down the, the toilet then, and next thing, overcome the intercom. <laughs> was, uh, can Marty Brogan please come to the office, please? No way. So I deleted everything on my phone, and I was shake white for the guards were there. Like, that's how bad, that is that's how bad the video was. And uh, I don't know if we can put this up, but... Um, Next thing, the wee Indian supervisor, he knocked me out the door. He goes, Marty, <laughs> who are you in there? I say, what? What's wrong? Tell me, he goes, what are you in last Wednesday? I says, is that what you're looking for me for? <laughs> we in, seven shades of white, taking a shite in the toilet, and I thought the guards were there for me. But it wasn't, it was nothing fucking, it was just a bad video, you know what I mean, you can get... How bad was the video? I was sent by somebody, it wasn't live, I don't go searching these videos, I just get sent them and a couple of bad Sure, uh, you probably like half of me dirty here. Mm. Oh, but you, you mean? Any crazy stories in the tag, hmm. Jesus. You know your typical stag party here, where, where three years go to Iron Morn, only two years come back. <laughs> <laughs> Cast away, five. <laughs> It'd be, it'd be a fucking gay, gay sheep let it let it where were we Tom Hanks Tom Hanks a transbender fucking seal <laughs> <laughs> why is he screwing like a crow, crow I don't know but uh, no I have plenty of stories but tell them is, well, is the one you know I tell PG one there PG one I don't have any fucking PGs PG chef clean your you are you <laughs> My ears had, need clean too. Uh, you had one ear. PG. You had one ear, a potato coming out Pierce, of the door. Pierce, Pierce Garman. <laughs> you had one ear, a potato coming out the door. <laughs> I, um, I have to think about that one. I don't, I don't know. Horror films, actually. I want a good horror film to watch. Now you're coming up to Halloween. What's a good horror? You like horrors, do you, Sean? Going back to fun again. Fucking exorcist or none of that shit. The. What do you call it? The Invitation? We watched it last night. That doll, she was in Game of Thrones. Uh, very good looking black lady. Oh, no. Curly hair. Oh, yeah. Why there's body in her. Um, the Conjuring. What about that? Did you ever watch that? That's scary. I mean, isn't it? Nah, I hate that. I fucking love it, though. But the th good thing about a, a horror movie now, like, I have extra hair that'll stand on my head. That's right, actually. 
That's a weird sensation, like. Oh, we're back to hair transplant again now, by the way. No, we're not. I'm just saying that. We have to cut them out because Fanny keeps coming back. Uh, what about the football? Uh, also, cut out me saying, uh, all joking aside, because that's about 25,000 times. 25,000 times. So, is that it, Vincent? That's it. Or what about today? the weather? Hi. Car- Hi, it's baby, it's cold outside. Hi, one's coming on from the north there. Uh, Easter Sunday's looking miserable enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that, that, we'll wrap it up with that, folks. Um, glad to get our first uh, episode over. It was a bit smelly at the start. Not smelly, what am I about smelly? It was a bit uh, nervy. Nervy. Right there, that knocks it was an he was that scared of it. But just to get it over our shoulders, we'll have... Uh, it's just... Basically what we're doing is sit down, chat about local news, have a bit of crack. That's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, it was good to get the first one over, just to see what the crack is, the setup ways. And mm. We uh, we just recently started an Instagram, VNM podcast, give it a wee follow. We're not looking to fucking bust worldwide, we're just having a bit of crack, local local crack like. Um, if you are out there, as he said, singers. Um, like if you want to come on to the crack. The crack, and also a few stuff there that you want to get out there. Business people. Um, so if you are like a, a singer or whatever, and you want to come on and play a few tunes, if you have a if you have a song out, plug away at that. Shit like that there, but a crack, and we'll have a laugh along the way. We'll get more tea in on me and more nuts. Hopefully, so much sponsors. <laughs> need to get a fucking tea, lady. Must have died. Go on, <laughs> go on, go on. I know that's definitely it. Um, hopefully he's enjoyed it, but. As we say, it's just a wee starter pack from me and Vincent here. This is definitely when I started. I will definitely have more good, good content when we... Maybe we might go live, get a lot of ideas off you, maybe play a couple of games. But the, the idea, folks, is to get the podcast out there, but we're going to mm. like clip it and chop it and stuff and put bits here and there, bits mm. up on Instagram and bits on YouTube and stuff. And you'll be listening to it anywhere, looking if you put it on the car, put it on your on your Spotify and you're, when you're out for a jog or... Out for a wank. Or out for a walk or <laughs> uh, out for the dog or anything. Wank, wank outside. But uh, from Scary. myself and Martin's hair transplant, we'll see you uh, next week for episode two. Tuna Fina Fall. Tuna Fina Erin. Sabatha. Stand on the neck. Tuna Fina Fall. Stop joking. Lick in your neck. Uh, can I have a soccer or a club? Uh, anyone going for a big four in the Chinese department? Easter. <laughs>